You've probably used a face scrub or toothpaste with those tiny blue flecks or sparkling beads. They looked clean, high tech, even futuristic, but almost no one realized what they actually were, plastic. Not an accident, not a manufacturing glitch. They were put there deliberately. In the 1990s and 2000s, cosmetics companies quietly swapped out natural exfoliants, apricot kernels, sea salt, oatmeal, and replaced them with perfectly smooth microscopic spheres made of polyethylene and polypropylene. Cheap to manufacture, luxurious on the skin, beautiful in slow motion commercials. So they got an adorable name, microbeads a word that somehow made plastic sound gentle. But here's what almost nobody thought about. These products were never meant to stay on your skin. You rub them in and rinse them straight down the drain. Wastewater plants weren't built to catch particles that small. Most of them slipped right through the filters and poured into lakes, rivers, and oceans acting like tiny toxic sponges, soaking up pollutants and getting eaten by plankton, mussels, fish. Fish that later ended up on your plate. By the early 2010s, scientists started finding the same brightly colored beads inside bird stomachs, inside seafood, even inside table salt. One global survey found microplastic in 83% of tap water samples. The bead you scrubbed off your face on Tuesday could literally be inside you by Friday. The backlash came fast. The US passed the Microbead Free Waters Act in 2015. Canada, the UK, Ireland, Sweden, the Netherlands all banned them soon after. Then in 2023, the European Union went further and banned almost all intentionally added microplastics in cosmetics with deadlines running into the 2030s. A global problem, caused by something that used to be in basic drugstore toothpaste. So the little blue beads disappeared almost overnight. Brands rushed back to natural exfoliants and proudly stamped microbead free on their packaging, as if they hadn't invented the problem in the first place. But here's the twist. The microbeads are gone but microplastics never left the bathroom. Look at many mainstream products today, foundations, mascaras, shampoos, body lotions. You'll still find ingredients like acrylates copolymer, nylon 12, dimethicone cross polymer, polymethyl methacrylate. They're not beads anymore. They're invisible polymers, film formers, thickeners, soft focus agents they still rinse off your skin. They still reach the same oceans. They're just harder to notice, so people don't panic. The EU is closing that loophole too, but in much of the world, these ingredients are still perfectly legal. So here we are. We caught one obvious version of the trick and felt proud. Meanwhile, the same game continues, just with better camouflage. This story is a warning written in tiny plastic spheres. We will happily wash pollution over our faces every day, as long as it feels nice and looks cool in the advert. We trust the label more than our own common sense. But it's also hopeful, because the moment people saw the truth, a photo of a fish stuffed with blue beads, everything changed. Consumers revolted, companies scrambled, Governments acted. And that power still exists. Every time you read an ingredient list, every time you choose the brand that isn't lying to you, every time you tell someone else, you're doing the same thing those activists did in 2014. The beads proved one thing. Once we understand the trick, we don't tolerate it for long. Which leaves one question hanging in the air in 2025 a question no one has fully answered yet. What's the next invisible plastic we're rubbing into our skin without even realizing it?